On this all-new episode of Nightlife, we get you ready for the playoffs. The defending Stanley Cup champs will have a chance to defend their championship. And we sit down with some of the leaders on the team to get an idea of the VGK's mindset headed into round one. There's going to be ups and downs and ebbs and flow through the playoffs. You know, just trying to stay even keel, focus on, you know, what you can focus on. We have a lot of depth and that was one of our strengths uh, last year, but this year we even have more. I think teams sh should fear us. It's all in order to, to be successful, but uh, to bring in on the table, it's, it's, it's another ball game. Plus, the top five moments on the ice from this season. One Stanley Cup, two Stanley Cups, three Stanley Cups. Sounds like a jackpot to me. All of that and more this week on Nightlife. Continues with the Golden Knights on the power play. Dorofia for Carlson. Score! Out and feeds Carlson. Moving in, he scores! William Carlson ties it. His second of the period. Welcome into this all new episode of Nightlife. This past week, both Braden McNabb and William Carlson played in their 500th game as a Golden Knight joining Jonathan Marcheseau as the only three Knights who have achieved that milestone. Coming in at number five of our season countdown, Jonathan Marcheseau celebrates game number 500, donning a VGK sweater in style. Two on one developing, Theodore to the middle, Eichel to Theodore, Marcheseau scores! Tic-tac-toe in his 500 Golden Knights game, Jonathan Marcheseau scores! It's a one nothing Vegas lead. Marcheseau's 38th of the season. What a start. Theodore, Eichel, Theodore, Marcheseau, back in the cage. Real nice breakout from the Golden Knights. And Shea just glides up the left-hand side of the ice. And he elects to go backwards a bit to Eichel in the middle of the ice. Eichel right back to him. And then Vasilevsky on Theodore's side of the ice. And Marcheseau. Well, Jonathan can score from anywhere, but from that spot, he's never going to miss. Marcia so has had a season for the ages. After winning the Conn Smythe and leading the VGK to their first ever championship, number 81 is ready to do it again. We sat down with Marcia to talk about defending Lord Stanley. How is the player sitting in front of us right now different than the one who was here this time last year? Yeah, just uh, kind of know um, how things can go your way. You know, like a lot of uh, deception in the past few years. But last year, it went uh, everything went right for us. So uh, just know uh, that feeling now. What did you learn about what it takes to win? A lot of sacrifices. Also, you cannot just have certain guys that wants to do the sacrifices and the other group doesn't want to. I think you need a whole organization to want to do them, and uh, I'm lucky, uh, lucky enough that I'm I'm in one that uh, everybody wants to to do them. You know, a lot of the same pieces, but every team has a different identity. How would you describe the identity of this group? I think we uh, we have a lot of depth, and that was one of our strengths uh, last year. But this year we even have more. So uh, I think teams sh should fear us. It's all in order to, to be successful, but uh, to bring in on the table, it's, it's, it's another ball game. So you win the Conn Smythe Trophy last season. This regular season, you're having the best regular season of your career. What's the next gear for Jonathan Marcheseau look like? You're known as a playoff player, be a playoff player. I mean, it's uh, whatever happened last year, it's, it's part of the past. I think it's, it's time to rewrite history. And uh, for me, it's, it's just take one game at a time and help your team win a hockey game. What's the team's mindset right now? Seems like you've been playing playoff hockey for a bit now. Yeah, we were on the verge of in and out, you know, so uh, obviously we've been aware of this, this situation, but I'm definitely really happy of our group uh, that stepped up. You know, like two years ago we didn't in those situations, and this year we, we, we did, and uh, we learned from our mistake from the year we didn't do the playoffs. So, uh, 
I think honestly we, we, we stepped up when it was time and uh, we're playing some good hockey right now. What's different about playoff hockey? It's the best time of the year. I mean, it's, it's, you know, when I was younger, I wanted to play in the NHL, but where I'm at right now, I would rather just play playoff games. <laughs> so uh, it's one of those things that it, it drives me. It's a, there's a, something at the end of it, especially that I tasted it last year. It's, a, it's one of those high that you always want to keep having, you know, and keep working for and just excited for the opportunity. What is it about that feeling of winning that makes you want to do it again? You wake up and everything's perfect. It's just, uh, there's no complaint in the world. Everything's great. For me, it was like I was on, on cloud uh, all, all summer. And uh, I, I want to surge that feeling again. And, you know, you do so much during your cup day that I want to work. And hopefully, if I can win it again, just enjoy it. And just, I definitely look forward to winning again if I can do it. Time for our first break here on Nightlife. Coming up next, our top five countdown continues. In honor of this remarkable accomplishment, General Manager Kelly McCrimmon is proud to present Alex Petrangelo with this golden hockey stick commemorating this special moment. Haig with a wrist shot. Now Dorfeev centered it. Save, rebound, score! It's Mark Stone! He snaps it home! Keep it locked, right here on Script Sports. Welcome back to Nightlife. We are counting down the top five moments on the ice from this season as we get ready to defend the Stanley Cup. Coming in at number four, a monster game and a surprising first from our captain. It's underway from the Fortress. Haig with a wrist shot. And Dorfeev centered it. Save, rebound, score! It's Mark Stone! He snaps it home! Stone cruising down that middle lane right between the hash marks and the Golden Knights have the 1-0 lead. Stevenson, Stone, open and he scores! Second of the game for Mark Stone! Stevenson, great awareness, recognizes Lausanne, he gets the puck over, and Stone goes 5-hole past Soros. Turn into the Vegas zone, puts the brakes on, pass into the middle block. Stevenson the other way with Petrangelo, two on one of them in hurry. Stevenson to Petrangelo, the trailer is Stone, has shot and he scores! Mark Stone, his first regular season hat trick of his career! The speed of Chandler Stevenson able to outrace Yossi for a puck back in their own end. Create the odd man rush as Alex Petrangelo jumps up on the rush. And it's a drop pass to the captain who goes blocker side on Soros. 13th, 14th, and that is 15th of the season to regain the two-goal lead. What a game it's been. Based by the first regular season hat trick of Mark Stone's career, the Golden Knights with a 4-1 win over Nashville. Stoney's leadership is unmatched, and having him back on the ice will be crucial. Another leader on the team celebrated an incredible milestone this season, and that brings us to number three on our list. It's a great shirt. <laughs> a lot of his face on it, but obviously for a good reason. A thousand games, that's a long time. It's done basically everything you can do in those times. Olympic gold, two cups, and now a thousand games, so it's obviously an awesome career. I'm really looking forward to seeing my family on the ice, and that's a special thing for me. The little things with my kids and my wife and my parents on the ice, that's kind of, I think, where it's going to hit me. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight Alex Petrangelo is skating in his 1,000th NHL game. In honor of this remarkable accomplishment, General Manager Kelly McCrimmon is proud to present Alex Petrangelo with this golden hockey stick oh, wow. commemorating this special moment. That's awesome. Good luck, Petro. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. Underway in the Fortress tonight in the first meeting of the season between the Golden Knights and the Wild. Keep hands, 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 hands. You, Marty, go ahead, Marty. You got to punch. Anya, Anya, Anya. 
I got speed, I got speed, I got speed. Go ahead, go ahead. He's a number one D-man for a reason. He's competitive in all areas of the rink. He plays against the top lines, and, and he, he has pretty much his entire career. So it's not just a lot of minutes, it's it's hard minutes, too. Speed, speed, Carl, speed, Carl. Yeah, he's going down, back up to, to free stop. But we cover that shot. He's got to go steam or back up to Boldy, but Boldy's a righty. Who cares? Make him go through five sticks if he does it. Good for him. Pretty cool to say that I play with a guy that has the accolades that he does. Guys like him is, is what you strive to be uh, later in your career. Time for another break here on Nightlife. Coming up next, we sit down with Jack Eichel as we get ready to drop the puck in round one. As an organization, as a team, we understand what our expectation is going into this, and we just keep it within ourselves, and I think that's what drives the group. Keep it locked. Nightlife on Script Sports will be right back. Welcome back to Nightlife. We continue our countdown of the best moments on the ice this season. Coming in at number two, we hop in the time machine and travel all the way back to the first game of the season. We've only just begun. The Stanley Cup champions, your Vegas Golden Knights! And now here it comes, Mark Stone. One Stanley Cup, two Stanley Cups, three Stanley Cups. Sounds like a jackpot to me. Raising that banner was certainly a night that no one will ever forget. And the desire to do it again is at the top of everyone's mind. We sat down with Jack Eichel to discuss what it will take to do it again. Well, how is the Jack Eichel that's sitting in front of us right now different than the one we talked to a year ago at this time? Just obviously a little more experience. Uh, having gone through what we went through last year, try and be a similar guy. <laughs> come to the rink every day with a good attitude and work hard. And last year was all new to me. You know, this year I have the experience that we, uh, we gained last year. What did that experience teach you about what it takes to win? Just knowing what to expect, I think. There's gonna be ups and downs and ebbs and flow through the playoffs. You know, just trying to stay even keel, focus on, you know, what you can focus on. You know, limit any outside distraction and it's so competitive. You know, there's gonna be nights where, you know, you don't play your best and you just try and come back and, and, and play better the next night. I think that's the biggest thing is just, you know, being able to manage the ups and downs, you know, the momentum swings, everything that comes with it. So I think it's important to try and uh, stay as even keel as possible. Is there more pressure coming in as defending cup champions? I don't know, I try not to look at it like that. Uh, I think every team has, you know, the pressure on them in some way. Uh, for us, it's, yeah, it's just come in and, and play hockey uh, the best to our ability. And, you know, I like our group. Obviously, we were able to do it last year, but uh, that's last year. It's in the past. It's a whole new season, and yeah, this is uh, you know another opportunity to prove ourselves. You get the sense that no one from the outside could put more pressure on you than you put on yourself. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, I think so. I, I think internally, as an organization, as a team, we understand what our expectation is going into this, and we just keep it within ourselves. And I think that's what drives the group. A lot of the same pieces, but each team has a different identity. How would you describe the identity of this team? Well, I think the identity shouldn't change too much. We we understand what makes us successful as a team and when we're at our best, what that looks like. So 
just trying to find that as, as much as possible and, and get to your game as quick as possible. What have you seen each of the new additions bring to the room? It's, it's been great. You know, with a guy like Tone, obviously a big, big man, he's got some pretty underrated skill and, you know, he's able to find the back of the net. Noah's been, been awesome for us as well. You know, whether it be, you know, 5-on-5, five five, power play, penalty kill, it seems like he's kind of in every situation making a big impact on the group and uh, the same with Tomas. So every guy's fit in, pretty seamless transition to the group. It says a lot about them and, and their character and type of, type of people they are, so I'm excited. They're great additions to our group and they should help us win. What has stood out most to you about Tomas Hurdle on and off the ice? Uh, he's a very happy-go-lucky man. He enjoys coming to the rink every day, he enjoys being around the, the guys, and uh, he brings a smile and a great work ethic. Uh, he's a competitor. You know, he wants to win. You see him out there, he's, uh, he's competing every shift. And, you know, as a player, obviously, his, uh, you know, his net front ability, his size, you know, how he protects the puck down low. He's a special player and he's definitely made his impact already. What gives you the belief that this is the group that can do it again? Believing in each other. I think that's the biggest thing. I think that was the thing last year with us is the confidence in, you know, within, within the team and, you know, knowing that we can win hockey games, whether it be here at, you know, at T-Mobile, we feel very comfortable. And, and also going on the road. It's such a tough thing to grasp, but I think we should utilize the experience that we gained last year, but also understand that it's a new year and we're gonna have different challenges and being able to lean on each other, uh, I think that's important. Time for our last break here on Nightlife. Coming up next, our top moment of the season. Plus, Gary Lawless sets the stage for round one. Keep it locked. Nightlife on Script Sports will be right back. Welcome back to Nightlife. We've reached the top spot on our countdown. Without further ado, we present the number one moment on the ice from the regular season, a playoff clinching domination. Golden Knights, so they're down to the final four games of the season, all here at T-Mobile Arena. They've got another opportunity here to try to clinch that final playoff spot in the West. Odd man, short-handed, Eichel, Hannafin, Wah, and Wah, put it on the crease and scores on the rebound. Backhand, save Thompson, rebound loose at the top of the crease. Johansson lost it for Fiam. Hansen scores! Short side on Fleury for Pavel Dorofiev. And it's 2 nothing Vegas. Hannafin straight away, Eichel on one time. Walks in, Stevenson, and Marcheseau, and he scores! Jonathan Marcheseau rips it home on the power play. That's number 42, and it's 4-1 Vegas. Cloud to drive, Dave Fleury through some traffic. Rebound to Hurdle, scores! Tomas Hurdle snaps home, his first for the Golden Knights. And work his way loose, Wadra shot, Dave Fleury, rebound, score! Keegan Colasar joins the scoring parade. Make it a lucky seven. The defending Stanley Cup champs will have a chance to defend their championship. They punch their ticket to the postseason in 2024. And they get there for the sixth time in their seven years of existence. Now that you've seen the top five moments from this season, it's time to defend the Cup. Our very own Gary Lawless gets you ready for puck drop in round one. The roars are louder, goals are bigger, saves mean more, wins are precious, losses are devastating. It's the Stanley Cup playoffs. Nothing rivals the ultimate hockey tournament. The most revered trophy in sports waits in the distance, four rounds away. 16 wins from immortality. The defending champions return to the playoffs. Little scuffed up after an arduous journey, but in the hunt, all the same. A handful of surgeries, banged up knees, sore shoulders, bruised everythings. It hurts to win. Repeating is torture. Man plans and God laughs goes the saying. Eichel, Stone, Carlson, Theodore, Petrangelo, Hill, Carrier, all miss big chunks of time. Enough to sink a team's playoff hopes. Add significant injuries to Wah, Martinez, 
Dorothea, Hutton, Howden, and White Cloud. Even the hockey gods are in on the joke. Few teams could withstand such an onslaught of misfortune. The Golden Knights did. They wobbled, but never fell. And they're a contender once again. The season started like a dream. Victories in 11 of the team's first 12 games. The champs weren't hung over. They were fresh and strong. Back to back was in the offing. The next knock on the door, however, was hockey's bill collector. Playing championship hockey takes its toll. Blocking shots, finishing checks, and maximum effort come with a cost. Injuries play no favorites. No other team in the NHL lost players for as many games as the Golden Knights. The season was a war of attrition. A new misfortune seemed to arrive every game. The champions took to limping as much as skating. Consistency, both on the lineup card and on the ice, was elusive. But always there was hope. There were wins over elite teams, periods of VGK branded hockey. The dips came, but always departed. The coaching staff searched for solutions. Management stepped in and acquired reinforcements. And finally, as the regular season came to a close, health arrived. Beneath the surface, the champion still prowls. Now we'll find out if the Golden Knights can still pounce. The postseason is steeped in finality. Lose four in a series and it's over. Only one team starts the summer happy. Now the pain of a trying 82 games is erased. Everything is new. Glory beckons. Welcome back, Golden Knights. You're in. What will you do with this opportunity? To win is sublime. To repeat is divine. That does it for this week's episode of Nightlife. Next time we see you, we'll be in the midst of battle, looking to defend the cup. Lock it in, VGK faithful, and go Knights!